Welcome to the CoSafe Sun Safety Education Program. Today, we will learn what is sun damage, where does it come from, and what can we do to prevent it. First, let's see what causes sun damage. Is it the sun? Watching too much TV? Pizza pops? UV radiation? Tanning beds? Cell phones? Or the microwave? There are three correct answers. Do you know them already? The correct answers are the sun, UV radiation, and tanning beds. Regardless of your skin color, it is important to always practice sun safety and to protect your skin from sun damage. This means that if you have skin, and I hope that you do, you must protect it. So who is at risk? People with lighter skin tones and lighter features are more sensitive to the UV rays and people with darker skin tones and darker features are less sensitive to UV rays because they have more melanin production. But what is melanin? Melanin is produced by your skin cells and it's what gives your skin and hair your color. It turns dark and gives you a tan when it's trying to protect you from the UV rays from the sun. However, having a tan means that you already have sun damage. So, if anyone's coming home from vacation and they're showing off their tan, they're actually showing off their sun damage. People from all around the world have different skin colors, and different skin colors offer different kinds of protection from the sun. But darker skin only offers SPF of 4. And we need an SPF of at least 30 to be well protected. So why is sun safety so important? Because the sun's UV rays can cause sun damage and this damage can sometimes even lead to skin cancer. And sun damage is not always so obvious. In the first picture, you can see that this lady doesn't have a tan, has a very nice complexion, and doesn't have a mole on her face. So you would think that she doesn't have any sun damage. But in the next picture, which was taken under a special camera, you can see all the tiny spots where there has been sun damage on her face. Just because you can't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. So what causes this sun damage? Sun rays can be dangerous in large amounts and is made up of UVA and UVB rays. When these rays reach our skin, they can cause damage if we're not protected. UVA rays penetrate the deeper layers of skin. They cause sunspots and wrinkles, and they can even go through windows. UVB rays affect the outer layer of skin, and these ones are the ones that cause those nasty sunburns. Now we know what causes sun damage, but how does sun damage look like? A lot of us know what sunburns look like. It makes our skin red, our skin might start peeling off, and sometimes when it's especially bad, it might even cause blisters. How can we prevent this? We can use sunscreen. Sunscreen can protect our skin from UV rays. It acts like an invisible bulletproof vest stopping the UV rays before they can reach the skin and cause sun damage. They can reflect or absorb UV rays, but need to be reapplied in order to remain effective. Here's a tip! Use sunscreen with an SPF, or sunburn protection factor, of at least 30 and reapply every two hours to prevent sun damage. Forgot your sunscreen at home? No sunscreen, no problem. 
there's lots of things you can do to protect yourself from the sun. You can avoid sun exposure between 10 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon when the sun's rays are the strongest. You can protect yourself with long sleeves, pants, sunglasses, and a wide brim hat. You can also find some shade. You can always take a break from the sun by finding a shaded area that you can go to. Tans and tanning beds. Let's talk about tanning for a second. Did you know that tans are not healthy? In fact, they are a sign of sun damage. So do you think tanning beds are a good idea? Definitely not. Tanning beds have both UVA and UVB rays, both of which damage our skin. And if you use a tanning bed, you can even increase your chances of getting skin cancer. Yikes! So now that we went through all the facts, let's play a game. I will show you a scrambled word and give you a hint. Don't worry, I will give you the answer too. If you are out in the sun, and this is shorter than you, you should be wearing sunscreen. And the answer is... Shadow! This is because your shadow gets shorter the higher up the sun is in the sky. You need to protect your eyes from the sun too. And the answer is... Sunglasses! And when it comes to sunglasses, the bigger, the better. Now let's try true or false. True or false, dogs can sunburn. What do you think? And this one is actually true. But we don't put sunscreen on our dogs as they can lick it all up. Instead, we can make sure they have a shaded spot outside they can use, plenty of water to drink, and we can even keep them inside during the peak hours between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. And if your dog will let you, they can even wear sunglasses and a hat. True or false? The type of fabric and color of your clothes can make a difference in sun protection. What do you think? So this one here is also true. White and other light colors can reflect the sun rays away from your skin. And thicker fabrics, such as jeans, will also give you lots of protection. True or false, having a tan is a good way to prevent the sunburn. What do you think? So this one is definitely false. A tan is a sign of sun damage. This damage can make your skin wrinkle and age much faster than it's supposed to. And we really don't want that, do we? So some tips to protect yourself. First, don't sunbathe or use tanning beds. And kids are not allowed to use tanning beds anyway. We can avoid sun exposure between 10 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. But don't worry if you have to be outside during peak hours. You can also protect yourself with clothing, such as long sleeves, pants, sunglasses, and a white brim hat. You can also find some shade. But the most important thing to remember for everyone is to wear sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. Congratulations! You are now a sun safety expert. We appreciate your commitment to sun safety education. Special thanks to the Canadian Skin Cancer Foundation for making this video. To learn more about sun safety and skin cancer, you can visit their website at canadianskincancerfoundation.com. I hope you all have a very sun safe day.